Hey guys, I hope you missed me because I really miss you guys too. For the couple of weeks that I was away, I was actually thinking of something else to bring to the channel. And then I was thinking, we have so many people that we look up to, we have celebrities that we look up to, but we don't really hear their stories, we don't know their struggles, we don't know their process. All we know is just the glamour and the glitter, like, yes, I want to be like that person, but dude, do you know what that person went through? So I'm going to be introducing a new series called The Ugly. Yes, I'm pretty, I'm not ugly. <laughs> So the, uh, the whole idea of the ugly is for these people to come and share their stories, come and share their struggles and hopefully to give us a reason to be resilient, to give us a reason to be consistent. And today on the very first episode, I have Soft Touch and she's uh, a very young entrepreneur and she's, she's amazing and she's also pretty. But I don't know how this is going to play out, Sha, but I guess we are all going to find out together. inside the soft touch beauty and soft touch is right here jeez you look so lovely thank you i'm going to take this <laughs> the gold chain i'm taking it like i'm definitely taking it how are you doing i'm fine you look panga yes that's the spirit <laughs> thank you okay and i'm actually so happy to be able to be here with you like this let's say morning or afternoon whatever time you guys are going to watch it but yes i'm actually happy to be here with you this afternoon pleasure is all mine all right so let's just get straight to the business so we don't waste your i know you're a very busy person so let's <laughs> not waste your time okay so like i've been thinking like what make you like when do you realize that you need to pursue a career as a fashion designer hmm. i never thought of being a fashion designer oh really i never thought of being a fashion designer because i only, only what I knew then was I was not going to work under anybody. While growing up, I knew I was not going to work under anybody. So I never had that vision of being a fashion designer. Not until uh, my final year in school. Okay. So that was when I was saying myself, oh, I think this is what I'm going to take as a profession. Okay, like you just woke up one day, you're sleeping, I just woke up. You're fine, I was like, yes, I'm going to be a fashion designer. No, you know, I started little by little while okay. I was in school. Because I started with, okay, I have a friend in Lagos then, she sews. Okay. So she gives me um, something, like, maybe she just finished making up. Like, oh, because I have this model body, because yes. I was once a model. Oh, really? I was once the health ambassador of Russia State, so oh, wow. she's just like, oh. If I take this, where is it? So when I get to school, I see how people admire it on me. And I'm this kind of person. I don't like something that is common. I don't like what I wear. I see it on someone else. Like, mm -hmm. I see it everywhere. I don't yes, like it. Yes. So I'm always a specific person. I like being it's identified out, like, yeah. separately. So when I take it to school, and I'll just say it jokingly because I joke a lot in school. Oh, if I where did you get this? I would like, I made it. Do you understand all those kind of stuff? People be like, hmm, Ben, it's very like you know Yorubas yes, and yes. stuff like that. I'm like, yes. So not until I wore a particular design to a friend's hostel, and she paid me for what I am wearing. She had to give me a outfit to wear, like one of her dress in her wardrobe to wear, and she took, and she collected the one she, you were wearing. Yes. Wow. And not for anything. The next day, my girl washed it and. Dry clean it and wear it for a party straight up. That means the clothes must have been so nice. So well, you know, I pay then I paid I think one thousand naira to that my friend in Lagos. I had to sell it for like five thousand naira, and I'm this kind of person. I like money, and what I was like, I'm saying like four thousand naira gain or something. I've won. Ooh. Do you understand? I was yes, like, I, ah. I called her Sunshine. This is a very good business. <laughs> Can we get some more? Do you understand? Yeah, so that was yeah, just yeah. how I was like, no. I think before I set to to think of what I'm really going to do because I don't have anything in mind at that time but all I knew was I was not going to work on that anybody so I was like ah, if this for 4000 naira Can all my brain was just, just for 4000 naira that I gained at that time that if this for 4000 naira is coming to my post almost every time then I'm a big girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now when you after you made that decision that yes, you want to be a fashion designer, like was it so easy? Like like did everything just come to you on the platform? Because with everything I'm seeing here and everybody that's working for you, I'm like, okay. Tell me tell, tell me about it. Was it so sweet or was it rosy? You know, life itself is hard. 
<laughs> Forget so, though, with this your name soft touch, it might be soft for you. It wasn't soft, man. <laughs> okay, I got this soft touch from Faust the bad guy, soft talk. Oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> what? That was how I got my soft, soft touch. touch. Wow. I was like, ah, ah, soft touch. I like, Faust, are you hearing? <laughs> so that was just how I got it. So it wasn't easy for me a bit. Because at the point I was telling, um, I was telling the, my friend to okay, send me clothes, and sometimes she would disappoint. I've collected friends' money with me, and mm -hmm. I don't even know how to pay that machine. Not to say I want to cut a clothes or pattern something out at that okay. time. So I didn't even know anything. So part of the difficult time for me then pushed me into learning. Learning also, absolutely. Because that was like the craziest thing, and I cry easily. <laughs> If I'm passing through something little, I cry so easily. So I can't just see myself crying unnecessarily. At the point, I stop collecting money from my friend that I'm trying to rebrand myself. I'm trying to, because I couldn't tell my friend that, okay, I'm not the owner. It's someone that is, do you understand? I my friends definitely, do you understand? My friend yeah. definitely will want the contact directly. Yes, exactly. So exactly. that is not a business for me again. Mm. Because back then when I was quite like money, I have bikes that I used to deliver to me to you okay do you understand so i was like ah no that's not a good business so i had to be like mm, i'm not doing it for now i want to face my project i just find one or two things to just close up that thing but at that time i was thinking that no 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 i need to find a way of investing more or getting more things together to be in this line so it wasn't easy for me a bit. Okay, so like what was your biggest challenge like at the start of fashion designer? I, okay, I think you already mentioned one. So like what other big challenge like you feel is so huge compared to this one? Fonts. Ego. <laughs> my new oh, my <laughs> <laughs> It was like the craziest challenge for me because nobody was there to help. Even when I just told my dad about it, my father is this kind of person that you have to use a certificate to work. He likes that education, education, I think education. African parents generally. Do you understand? So I could not go meet that dad. Dad, I need money to start a business. I could not go and meet him. The only person I had then was my mom because she gave me that listening ears. And my mom don't, doesn't really have much, you know, housewife thing. She doesn't really have much because before I say I, want, I don't have a machine. Before I say I want to get the machine, before I say this, before I say yeah. that. And this when I was saying, because after my um, uh, my my schooling and stuff, I served in Ibadan. So I was opportune to at least get little change from my mom to buy material. That was at Jabba Yoshu, to buy material. And I have one particular girl there, or lady, sorry, uh, at Ibadan. She herself have just one machine. And we are like, let's say five to six people that, that share machine. that just, uh, you know this machine, pa, 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 machine, yeah, manual machine. Then we used to call it pa, pa, pa. So it's a manual machine. So you call it pa, 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 why? Because the way the machine sounds, the manual machine, bang, 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 bang. So that was like, ah, bang, 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 bang. Do you understand this kind yeah. of thing? So that was how I started my life in Ibada while I was serving. I have that lady, her name is Tosi. So she will help with the sewing as well. Sometimes I'll have to sit with her, then I've learned a little bit of fashion, even if I was running out of fashion school. Because fashion is not a not day job. It's not for the week, <laughs> you understand? You can't even learn everything at okay. once. Okay. So at the point, it's going to be very tiring. Like you will just be like, let me just do this and I just forget about it. And at a point, you I don't see how that motivation is going to come to you more. You'll be like, I'm cutting this thing, it's scattering. I'm cutting this thing, it's scattering. Do you understand? Yes, oh, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I was even my lecturer's pal in um, fashion school then. That if I was coming, I would be using gala. Um, Chicken Republic, everything to bribe them. <laughs> she understand this kind of thing, but it wasn't easy. But the lady made it a little bit easy for me. Not until she herself, now because she's this Ibadan person that is yeah. really not socialized. Yeah. But you know, we as um, youngies. as youngies and as a copper in that place, we, tr we try to at least blend that up. But we never knew we were doing ourselves. Because at the, at that time she has well opened Instagram, started oh. collecting um, clients and stuff like that. So it oh. affected us. Do you understand? So I could not 
she could not meet up with others anymore. So she Do you understand? Like, she wanted she to just, just wanted to hers. focus on her own. I was like, oh, okay, if uh, this is another bridge for you to climb. It's so, just like, what's that you're saying? Can you show you that? You understand. <laughs> okay, so, like show that is like when you help somebody and then it's backfires. So, and you. definitely, I won't say I'm not wishing her well as well. Yeah. I'm definitely, I can't she use my own to obstruct us. Yeah, definitely. Because social media back then, because even while I was serving, ah. Uh -uh, I'm a celebrity on social media because my me I know I don't even dress well. So um my PPA stuff, I don't dress well. If I wear my khaki, maybe I'm wearing a red sneakers. So I'm always like the area of concentration. Yeah. And that is how I sell my market while I was in um Ibadan. I always want to stand out, stand out yeah. because I want someone to at least look at when I pass. Oh, this person. So I want to reintroduce myself to yes. anybody that okay. <laughs> Do you understand? That was how I was. My mouth was like my market was like my store. Do you understand? Yes, then I would refer people to my social media and stuff like that. But after then, God helped me. I finished NYSE because that 19500 I was getting then because I finished NYSE I think 2020, 2015. Mm -hmm. So the 195 was nothing. I and my friend Lopez, we were using it for Spectre Net subscription. <laughs> yeah, they said, so that one was not even helping. That cannot even take a rent for me. Because myself, um, Joke, we are so rest in peace now. And Lopez, we are like the three roomies that stayed together. Do you understand? So then I was able to get a room and pal no, a two bedroom in Ibado. Then I started from there. I had a plastic mannequin. I was able to get a um, manual machine. I was able to. I was not making that. <laughs> That's Definitely, manual machine will give you bang, 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 bang. Okay, it's manual machine, not the one now that it's. Yeah, manual machine, okay, is manual machine is that guy, 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 guy. Not like this okay. industrial. industrial one, that you just. Do so you understand? And very easy. Do you understand? So that was just. Okay, so like, life started. For that, you said the biggest challenge you had was fun. Yeah. Like, and you didn't get someone to give you funds. Your mom was like, she could like, she was able to give you the little that she had. Like, yeah. How were you able to like beat up that challenge, like getting funds for yourself? Uh, shout out to my customers <laughs> that trusted in me. <laughs> Do you understand? Shout out to them. And at the point, it wasn't easy. Their money was not helping me anymore okay. because it was little. Because I was a starter. Yes. You know, in this Nigeria, if you don't have mouth, they won't pay you more. They won't pay you more. Definitely. Do you understand Definitely. all those kind of things? So, um, they call something in Yoruba. I'm sure people out there will know what it's called. Bomule Lanta, a loan. <laughs> they call it that. So, that was, I, my mom and I had to take that loan. And that alone made me very hard working. That alone gave me strength. Okay, because I was always working 24-7 just to meet up with the repayments. Do you understand? So Okay, so now like um what's the least favorite part about being a fashion designer? Like what's the thing that you don't really like about being a fashion designer? <laughs> if I say it, it's stress. It's stress. Any other thing in fashion, I love it. The stress, but there's no work or there's no job you have in this world, I can't say just in Nigeria, that okay. doesn't bring stress. To make money is stressful. So the only thing I don't like in fashion designing is stress. And customer not really trusting you. <laughs> that is just it. Okay, so now, Lupe, where is she now? Mm, my friend is married with a child wow. now. She's here in Lagos as well. Is she also she's a fashion a, designer? No, she's not a fashion designer. She's into frozen food. It's you can be stand by and Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we are five or six, so we definitely still see ourselves. Regularly. Okay, so like recently you um opened you launched the um soft touch kitchen. And I also know that you have soft touch logistics. So like I'm kind of confused there. What's the relationship between a kitchen, logistics and being a fashion designer? Okay. My greatest challenge in this fashion business is logistics. Oh, oh god. Riders can disappoint you. <laughs> Riders can make you cry. Riders can turn you into a liar. So I just summoned my courage to get myself that logistics for myself mm -hmm. and for other people that are passing through the same thing I am passing through. Oh, that was, do you understand? That was why I actually went into 
logistics. So I try to get myself two bikes to at least one for my company and I want to run other people's businesses. So that's just So what about the kitchen? Mm. The kitchen is, I'm not really a foodie person, but at least I love food. But you know something about this fashion designer is we have this particular time that we will always want to have, we call something nights. That's December period. We have nights that everybody would have to be in the office oh, and okay. sleep and at least wake up at some hour to work again. So I, this area I am, I noticed there is no good food. Oh. My workers complain a lot about food and everything. So I just sat down that very day. Myself, I won't be able to eat very well when Your I'm Your workers at must be so lucky to have you. <laughs> <laughs> For you to be considered no, about what they eat. Yeah, ah, definitely. Because if they don't eat good, they won't produce well what for me. Yeah. Definitely, I need to take care of them because they are like my tools. Do you understand? If they I don't come and work for you, but not as it's <laughs> If they don't work for me, because this fashion line is very broad. I yes. can't do it all alone. Yes. I can't be beading, I can't be sewing, I can't be illustrating, I can't be attending the customer and at the same time cutting. So it's like a division of labor thing. Okay. And if they aren't strong, they can't produce. They can't work for me. So I just sat down and I that. I collected the old building. What is this floor doing? <laughs> it's true. What is this floor doing? And my father is a chef. You understand? Wow. Yeah, my father is a chef. I was like, ah, let's start a kitchen now. If we are cooking, and, and I'm very sure that what we are passing through right here, Someone inside there Someone is passing through the same, same thing. thing yes. And I was like, okay, let's start small. Let's see what's going to happen. And man, the first day that we opened the kitchen, so I said that no, people in this area are really <laughs> hungry. <laughs> but, so that was just, it's not that I woke up one morning and, and I just thought that I want yeah. to start a business. I'm this kind of person that I look at my situation. I look like at my environment, my surrounding at that time to know that, ah, Okay, I have the power to do this. Yes. Okay, this phone is useless. Yeah, not really that it's useless. I can do it on something else, but I, I feel on something money. new that can bring in more, bring in more money. money. So I'm money this kind of person important. that you understand. Money is very important in this world. Let's say world general. Everybody loves money. Only what would like who does not even like money? There are some people that claim that they don't love money. I mean, I love Hello, money. Excuse me, guys. I love. This is my YouTube money. channel, and I love money. I'm officially saying. <laughs> I'm actually saying it's so nice to have you. Like, thank you so much for giving me time to have this. Like, mm, the pleasure so thank, is all thanks my, so much. You're welcome, guys. I'll see you next week. We like to take your spot, my love.